Hello everybody and welcome back to WoW Mods. This time around we're back in Gilneas. It's night time and I want to show you a bit of uh, changes that I'm going through the entire zone. So um, before I want to get to that I want to just thank everybody for being patient. Uh, I know that videos are not coming out right now as they normally would. They're still coming in within like the weekly range, but they're not coming in on the days that I normally have them. Uh, and that has been that it's just been a, a rough couple of uh, weeks with work, which has left me with a lot of like considerably less time to figure out some of these things. But anyways, we're back. Um, another thing that before I actually look and reveal, I just want to tell you all that uh, in the following weeks, I've got a couple of uh, collaborations coming uh, on board. And so we'll be looking at some really interesting stuff. And hopefully it'll be the future of more interesting uh, stuff to come. Right. So uh, without further ado, I'll reveal a part of Gilneas and the changes that I've made into this zone. So... As you can see right now, we are now using proper Gilnean uh, buildings as opposed to the houses that we had uh, before. And I think they look pretty good. There's still some details, obviously, that need to be uh, taken care of. Some of these buildings don't have interiors because they're taken, off, uh, taken out of Cataclysm, where a lot of the buildings just don't have interiors uh, to begin with. Um, but yeah, this is where we're at. Uh, we have these houses that are occupying uh, the space, so to speak. So I think they're looking pretty good. I think they convey what we wanted to convey about the area, that it's a bit darker, that it's, uh, th you know, that it's showcasing sort of like the Gilnean, more vertical stacked houses. Um, I think it's it's definitely an improvement over what we had before. And also another thing that's going to be changing is I will definitely be changing the grass and I will be changing the bushes and I will be changing the trees as well. So that's all going to change over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully uh, we won't come back like too, too often uh, to deal with stuff like that. But uh, it's what we have right now, and and I'm feeling pretty good about it. And if we go here, you see a light floating in the <laughs> floating in the middle of the air. Uh, there's going to be a lighthouse there, like there used to be. I just removed it for the time being because uh, I I've changed obviously this uh, bridge and the buildings, um, and I think it looks really cool. Uh, you can't really walk out. Uh, too far into that direction because if you do you will get the inevitable uh, message of doom but um, I think it's fine so like you can see here there's a couple of details that are still floating in the air and if we get up to a certain point oh I guess we can't see it right now because I don't have the UI turned on but um, there is a drowning uh, uh, effect that's in play right there so we're gonna have to deal with it we're gonna have to see exactly how it is that we're gonna get that uh, to work properly or whether or not we're just gonna leave it for show I don't know uh, so that's that uh, it's just a quick little um, update as to what's going on in in Gilneas uh, this it, it's gonna be a big change it's gonna require a lot of like working through different things I I wasn't like a hundred percent convinced to go ahead with the change but then after I played a bit more on um, on a cataclysm server and I got to Gilneas and I thought like these colors do work like the the, the tone of grass and the tone of trees do work but we'll try and get it closer to what the original one is. I mean, I was holding out and using stand-in uh, buildings as opposed to using Gilnean ones. Now that I've brought in the Gilnean buildings, it seems like uh, it, would, it would be kind of like a half-assed effort on my part to not potentially change the terrain, where, where we're really talking about swapping textures and really redoing a bit of the forest which is fine with me because i'm i'm, I'm not like a hundred percent committed and uh, lo and behold there you have 
the stand-in temporary city of Gilneas as it stands. I will not go in there right now and show you because it's nowhere near completion, but you have an idea of what uh, I've been wanting to do. So, having said that, hopefully next week, uh, like I said, we're going to have that uh, collaboration come through. Uh, we'll be looking at that. It'll be something new. I don't want to like give too many details right now. Uh, until it's actually been recorded and it's edited and it's ready to go. So chances are that you won't hear f further confirmation uh, and hopefully we, we will be seeing that for next week. Uh, so until then, everybody, uh, I hope you uh, had fun. I hope that uh, you enjoyed a bit of what I had to show you. It's not completely finished. You know that I, I never like showing work that isn't 100% done but um, I think it's I think it'll it's it's best to show you what I'm working on um, aside from that what else do I need to say there's also going to be other types of collaborations so the one that I'm talking about in particular refers specifically to wow mods that is going to be happening uh, I'm in the middle of discussions right now um, uh, about it. So that's going to happen. Another thing that's going to happen is I'm going to have collaboration with uh, some uh, other friends just playing other games. And hopefully those videos I'll be able to slot like in the middle of the week. It also seems like we've hit 500. So woo! All right. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Um, so that's great to have the fi finally hit the, the uh, 500 mark. And hopefully we'll just continue growing and making this community better for all of you. And I think that's really what's going to happen. So until next time, everybody, take it easy, have fun, and until next time, bye-bye.